Hey, lady, you too. I have no idea what we're doing tonight. <laughs> I didn't plan anything. <laughs> but I thought maybe some of you haven't, you know, worked on your journals yet. So I thought maybe I start putting one together and let you guys chit chat. And if you have any suggestions of what to do, maybe we'll do, we'll just change midstream. Because I don't have any ideas. My brain's kind of, um, you know, kind of empty. I've been working on those journals for next month and I'm just like, kind of got sucked into that, having fun doing that. And then I wasn't thinking of anything else. So, <laughs> oh, look how cool that is. It's a hot mess, but I like it. Isn't that pretty? Maybe I'll put that as a cover. I got some of this wallpaper, kind of cool, huh? I like it. So I cut that up in the sizes of pages. See what we can do about that. Hey, hi, everybody. If you guys want to do something, you know, special. <laughs> the tobacco. It does look like that, huh? Or some really strong coffee landed on it while they were having breakfast one time. Hmm? Hi, Lily. No, you just show up and have fun with everybody and. We're not sure what we're doing tonight, but I'm just going to start putting some signatures together for a journal. And then if there's other things that people want to do, you know, I change midstream. It doesn't bother me at all. But I do have just sitting right here next to me all the stuff for our Sanotype um, journal. So I figured I must. Oops, I think I need to. Get, did that do autofocus? I wasn't paying attention. Or is it doing autofocus or not? Let me know. I thought I turned it off, but um, who knows? So anyway, I have lots of leftovers. You know me. I always have too much stuff and not enough of any one particular thing, you know, to um, or of everything to make extra kits. But I do have lots of extras. So... Let's just, um, I usually make three or four of whatever we're working on that month to put in my shop. So I think that's what these will be. They'll go in the shop. So I like this wallpaper too. We'll just keep doing the blue thing, right? Um, <laughs> so you think this little old lady in a rocking chair, she had a little spittoon next to her and the tip oh i just saw the autofocus hold on let me go see what happened why it's doing that i thought for sure i turned it off oh i did turn it off and it went right back on very sensitive okay here we go let's try again let's hope it works this time okay so um, how many signatures did I do in the other one? I think I did. Let me bring it out. I've got it right here somewhere. Oh, so we, I did two signatures in these. So maybe I'll just do the same thing because they're, they're pretty chunky. They came out kind of cute. So let's just go ahead and do some chunky signatures. Let me see how many. Let's get this one. How many are eight signature? I really don't remember. <clears throat> Let's count. Well, let me tell you, if you're not in 
you know, the group, you haven't seen the pictures of the journals that I made for next month. <gasps> they have been so much fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's put 10. Let's put 10 in each one. Let's just put 10. And then we'll figure out the decorating letter. And so I need... I need two piles. I don't think I need that. I really like this. So I want to put that somewhere in, in the journal. Not sure where yet. And can you use these up and I think I just, it's been a while since I did these. So I think I just cut those in half. I think that'll work just fine. And you know me, I don't care if all of the pages are different sizes. I actually prefer that. And I came across this um, calendar. So I thought, ooh, this would look kind of cool. Pages in there. I think I'll just cut that. Haven't seen Mr. Bunny in two days. I'm starting to worry. I hope it's just a girlfriend. But it's been kind of warm, so maybe he's found a cooler spot to hang out. Although I give him fresh water every morning, so. I really don't see the need to look for another place, but you just never know. <laughs> Let me see. Uh-oh, what happened to Popo's doggy? Uh-oh. I missed something. I know, Mr. Well, you know, Mr. Bunny, um, there's a reason why they call uh, Mr. Disney called Bunny's Thumper, okay? He might be thumping around somewhere. And um, he's forgot all about me. Um, I found, or I should say, I decided to use. Remember this paper I told you that was given to me? This is handmade paper, and it is made from jeans. She just tears up those jeans and makes pulp, and she made paper out of that. So I think we need to use that. It needs to be in the blue journal for sure. And what else do I hear? Oh, I've got some of this stuff. Somebody, I'm trying to remember. See, I am so bad about where I get stuff. I know people are worried you get that, you know. And, you know, I'm not being coy. I really don't remember. 
Because when I get stuff, as soon as I get it, whether I buy it or somebody um, sends it to me, you know, gifts it to me, um, I put it in categories. So it comes out of the envelope. And the blue stuff goes with blue stuff and floral goes with floral. And by the time I pull it out, I honestly, I mean, I'm sad to say, I honestly don't remember who gave it to me. But when people see it, at least they know I'm using it, right? At least they know it's not going, it wasn't gone to waste by then. Whoops, I'm like, that might chair better not do that. At least they know that it did not go to waste by them um, giving it to me because I may not remember where it came from, but I will use it. All righty, so that's gonna be like way too big, but we'll trim it later and figure out what to do. But anyway, back to the journals I've been making. Oh my goodness, I've been having so much fun putting next month's stuff together. I was thinking, oh my goodness, you know, how many, you know, how many more of these can I put together without like repeating myself? But, um, hey, not yet. Okay, so we need to put the vellum in here. I love that vellum. And that does not rip too well. So let's go ahead and cut that. And we'll figure out how we use that. All right, looking pretty cool so far. Let's see, what else do we have here? So, we'll do a little bit of the mixed media that was in the kit. So, I have some of that left over. That there. Sort of there. Different paper. there. How many did we say? I already forgot. <laughs> How many? Oh my goodness, I already forgot what I counted. I swear. Okay, so let me get some of the prints that we did. That needs to be in there for sure. other ones too. These came out kind of freaky. They're kind of cool though. And let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, and some of the blue paper. Hello. Alrighty, so we're getting there. This one might be a little chunkier than the others.
one of the collage ones that I did. So we'll put those in there. Oh, if we get bored with this, what I could do is I could make a collage for next month. I have some things I can use for that already. Everybody that's showing up, thank you. And this is different, right? I think. Yeah. All righty, that looks pretty chunky. Pages that this should be enough, and then we'll go from there. All right, so let's see how this feels all put together. and see which ones we got to trim off. This definitely has got to get trimmed off. Oh yeah, this is pretty chunky, maybe too chunky. Maybe this needs to be three signatures. Well, oh well, it doesn't matter too, too much. Feels nice. How many of you go by the feel as opposed to, you know, making sure everything is just just so? If my journal does, if the even if the signatures don't even feel have that. Feel, I don't even know how to explain what that feel is. If you do it, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't have that right feel. It's like, okay, what's wrong? What do I have to add? What do I have to subtract? Something's wrong here. And this needs to go. Uh, and then I've got to, I don't want it all even, even, but the stuff is going really, really far. That's got to be trimmed. So that's a bit much. Alrighty. Feels yummy. Feels yummy. Okay. Next. <laughs> yeah. 
Same blue one, let's cut that one up. <clears throat> It was really hot again here today. I had to go grocery shopping. People running all over the place with no masks on. Which is pretty bad in this state. Our state. Um really compared to the rest of the country didn't have that many cases so I think it kind of gave people a you know like a little false sense of security well in the past week they've really been going up so you know everyone I guess is gonna have to deal with it just at different times I guess Alrighty, these two feel good. I think those are done. Oh, I got to one or two of these in here too. Oh, how could I forget about that? Oh my goodness, the star, the star of the journal. I'm forgetting. <laughs> okay, so Erin has been making chickens. Then she says she's been die cutting kitchens. You should have seen what I read before I focused in on that. <laughs> it was not pretty. <laughs> that was not pretty what I read. Oh, all right. So that's done. And I got to figure out how I'm using her. I want to use her for sure. And I think I want to do another cloth cover. I like those. And I want to incorporate this but it's way too flimsy i gotta find one to see let me go look in the other room and see if i have one that's already gessoed so i don't have to like get the gesso out and dry it and everything else All just sewed up, ready to go. Ooh, and this fits pretty good right there. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what happens when we put all this in there. Oh, and those fit good in there too. Wow, it was like I cut it just for the for this journal. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So let's 
So I have to figure out if I'm gonna glue this down on here or are we just gonna be another page? Or maybe I'll put it inside. And we can always um, cut off the tobacco. <laughs> we can always cut off the spit, if indeed that's what it is. I don't know, it doesn't have my vote for that yet, but you just never know. You just never know. Okay, it's looking kind of cute. Now I put it in the center. Whoops, I need to do it the other way. Well, it doesn't matter. You see it both ways. Um, Not sure what to do yet. So I'll waste time thinking, cutting this up. <laughs> See if I have one of those aha moments. Maybe just a tree there would look pretty. Put her inside. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay. Let's see. We went all crazy the other time with all these blues. Which was better? And we went like really monochromatic. It was all blue or nothing. So let's let's see what we got in our pile. This is the pile from last week. Maybe we need to put some birds this time. What do you guys think? Birds this time. I have them here, and then I'll put that on top of there like that. I think that's kind of cute. All right, let's think in terms of the birds. And see what we do. I don't know if I want to put a solid piece or if I want to break it up. Let's see where it all kind of falls.
Okay, those of you that have crocodiles, um, from day one, I've had trouble. I should say it's not consistent when I put in the um, those eyelet slash grommet things. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And it's very frustrating because I don't know you know, what I'm doing right or wrong. So it's very, very frustrating. So anyway, the other day, I came across a video that explained everything. Why some of mine work sometimes when I do the same thing each time. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Well, I had never really looked at those little doohickeys real closely. And some of them are solid in the back. And some of them are already, pre oh, oh, rosemary, rosemary, what? Oh, what else did you do with the cover you were working on last week? Oh, yeah, go ahead and, and yeah, link away, people. Um, what did I do last week? Uh, well, what we did is, well, we did the whole thing is what we did. We got the fabric. We gessoed it. We decorated the front. We created the... Um, you know, the um, binding, we did the binding and, and we stitched in the, um, the signatures. Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean, Darla? So, yeah. So, so I was like, all right, now, you know, most companies will tell you use our stuff, which they all tell you that. But most things are generic, right? And um, they just want you to buy their stuff and they charge you two, three times as much as you can get it when you buy the generic thing. So, um, so I bought the generic stuff. So what I learned and where I learned was, um, oh, I forget her name. She just did a video a couple of days ago. That's so why I watched it. Oh, I hope I don't say it wrong. Is it the paper outpost? Is that the name of, is that the name of a YouTube channel? <laughs> I think that was the name of it. Help me out, ladies. Do you guys know, um, do you guys know the paper outpost? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lane. Yes. So Pam at the paper outpost. I think it was her. For some reason, that name just came to me. So I'm pretty sure it was her. And if you guys watch the same video, let me know. Um, and she explained that some of them are split and some aren't. So I ran over to my little box where I have it. And sure enough, some of them were split and some of them weren't. So when I would grab them, if I happened to grab the one that has a little already splits, they worked. If I grabbed the one that didn't, they went and they just kind of flattened and did all kinds of contortions and everything. So that was the problem. So of course I had to run to Amazon and find me the ones that have little slits in the back. So I'll stop having problems. And as soon as I get those, I am throwing away the ones that don't have it because that's just a bunch of baloney. So anyway, so just when you think it's you, well, in a way it was, I was using the wrong thing, but it wasn't like I was doing the wrong thing. I was using uh, the wrong grommets. So bad on me, but now I know. Now, see, just a simple, simple explanation like that. Why didn't somebody else make a simple explanation like that a long time ago? 
Well, maybe they did and I didn't see it. But. Okay, I'm kind of thinking this is kind of cute. What do you guys think? A little peekaboo with the birds and all oh, rosemary. Oh, letter. What, what? Mm -hmm. I'm a, Sandra, what are you asking? Letter. What do you mean, what letter? Oh, dear. Don't. <laughs> Just when I think I know what I'm doing. What do you mean, what letters? Please, ex please explain. All right. Let me. Yes, I have a crop of doubt. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. For better or for worse, I got one. I think I kind of like the old fashioned way of just, you know, getting that hammer going, <laughs> that little tool that they sell with the grommets, the big bite, the big one. I guess so. Why? You want a bite? <laughs> okay. Where is... Oh, let me see. I'm losing stuff. I'm always losing stuff. All right. I need to go get me uh, a little pot. Hold on. Boy, my hydrangeas are blooming so much, they're falling over and laying on the ground. I had to cut some of the um, some of the flowers and make some bouquets because literally they were so top heavy that they uh, they were hanging on the ground. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, exactly, Lucy. It was like, you know, you buy these tools to make your life easier, or that's that's the whole premise, and all it does is give you an anxiety attack. <laughs> it's gives you an anxiety attack. It's like, say what? <laughs> oh my gosh. So let me see. Let's put a little bit of this, a little bit on the plate. All righty. Let's put this down. When I get this in, I'll show you the one I have. If those of you that didn't see the video, I'll just kind of recap what she said. And then you guys can go watch her video. Because it was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now if I can just get my uh, printer to work. <laughs> I got me a, they had on sale a, um, um, just a black and white laser printer for, it was like 60, like $70 with tax and everything, $72, something like that. 
was regular. I forget, like one something. I had my eye on it for a while and almost bought it. And then I said, Meh. so when it went on like super duper sale, I go, okay. Cause I really do need one when I do some of my, some of my, you know, transfers. I make do with, you know, the inkjet, but it, it does smear a little bit. I have to be like extra, extra careful. But anyway, for some reason it, my uh, computer won't recognize it. <laughs> I plug it in. I do all the drives. I install everything it tells me to install. And it, it doesn't. My computer's not reading it. So I don't know what's going on. I wanted to do it on my own, but I think I'm going to have to call in the husband. <laughs> I'm going to have to call in the husband. What the heck is going on here? I've been trying for three days. It isn't like I gave up right away. I should have called Darla. <laughs> yep, should have called Darla. Silly me. Okay, so that's going to look kind of cute, guys. What do you think? Oh, look how cute. Yeah, it's going to look cute. <laughs> what kind of printer did I get? I got, where is it? Where is my printer? Oh, it's over here. Uh -huh. It's an HP, the, the laser one. All right, so that just needs, that needs a little bit more glue right there. We'll just let that dry. We'll let it dry. <laughs> yeah, HP laser, yep. And if my husband can't figure it out tomorrow, it's going back. <laughs> Because <laughs> my husband's good at all that stuff. So if, if it messes up with him, you know, and I think there is. All right. I have a um, uh, a desktop here in my studio. And I know every once in a while um, I have to. Well, for me, when I go live, um, sometimes when I go over to YouTube, it'll say I don't have my camera plugged in and I have it plugged in so I have to unplug it plug it back in and then it's okay I think actually it has to do with the connections with stuff um and it's a brand new computer but um so I'm I'm just wondering if with this one it's also has something to do it's just not connecting it's not reading that's that my that my um uh, that my um printer is connected to the computer it's saying it's not connected when it is it's not recognizing it so i hope it's not you know that it's not ever going to read it because of the way that that connection is kind of kind of goofy all right so i like it i like it um Oh my. <laughs> you know, I don't like to call those people. They just, they, I go around in circles with them. I'll get my husband first. Then, if it doesn't work, I'll give him a call. But um, they give me a headache when I call, you know, 800 numbers. Oh my gosh. Do this, do that. I already did that. Did you do this? Yes, I did that. Did you do that? Yes, I did that. Well, how about that? Yes, I did. You know, it's like, oh, my gosh. All right. I think that's kind of cute. So I'm going to glue that down quite yet. I want to see what I'm going to do with her. If I'm going to make her a page in there. Or if I just want to make a whole other one with her on the cover. 
Because, see, I want to do something with a little doily. I don't think the doily goes with her, per se. Um, well, while this is drying, let me, um, let me see if I have another piece already that has gesso on it that she can fit on. No, that doesn't have to be. I can put it on something else. Let's see. Let's see what else I have here. I could just put it on some paper. So if I just got one of these. Mixed media paper. I lose a. I lose her dress though. I don't want to lose her dress. Well, maybe I'll lose her dress. I need something a little bit bigger than this. I wanted to use what I already had. I might have to cut something for her. Or she put on there. I could put her on this handmade paper. Wouldn't that look cool? And then cut it and then put that on top of, sew it onto some fabric. I wonder what that would look like. So let's just get the tallest one. This looks like the tallest one. Maybe we'll do that. No, it's the same height as this one. Ah! Oh, wow. Well. That's what I get. I cut them all the same size. All right. So if. Oh, those are yes. Yeah, I think I think she's right because, um, like I said, when I put the uh, when I put the camera on, it does the same thing sometimes. And um, and I even changed them. I thought, ooh, why don't I put it into this side? Because I've got how many do I have? One, two, three. I have four of them, but it wouldn't read it in any of the four. So I thought, well, maybe that's not maybe that's not the issue. But that's initially what I thought it was. Yeah. And, um, but I tried all four of them. And on none, you know, it wouldn't read it on any one of the four. So it's like, well, what do I do now? You know? Alrighty, so okay, do or die time. So I've been, like I said, I've been really busy working on those journals. 
And so I decided to watch, um, binge watch, um, Monk. <laughs> Out of all the shows, I chose Monk. Because <laughs> he makes me laugh. So that's what I did while I was making making all these journals. This is going to have to be a big journal cover, though, if I do it like this. A lot bigger than these are. Uh-oh. Well, it's going to have to be different pages for this journal. I can see that already. All right. So... I have a friend <laughs> who um, is a monk. He's a monk, let me tell you. And he's proud to be identified because so I remember one time I said, oh, my gosh, Dad, you remind me so much of monk. He goes, oh, thank you. I go, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it wasn't exactly supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> um, and it was funny. I didn't remember the end. I guess I saw the end, but I had forgotten about it. So it was kind of fun to watch, to watch it all over again. It took me three days, but I was in a studio all day long working on those journals. So. <laughs> hey, that's not flat enough there. It's not. It's not holding on right. I need to switch tables. This table is not. The surface is not flat. I need to get one of my other ones on the other side. Switch them out. Whoops. How long have I had my computer? Oh, it's it's been about, gee, I don't know. You guys probably know better than I do. It's been, it was in the summer, right? I don't remember. It might be a year. Maybe not. I don't know. I've lost all sense of time. I didn't even know it. What when Monday was Monday? I go. Is today Monday? My husband had to think. Uh, first he said no, and then he goes, "No, wait a minute. I think it is Monday." <laughs> I don't even know what day it is, let alone <laughs> when we bought something. We ju just watched the one about the granite driveway. Granite driveway, which is that one? Oh my gosh. Don't tell me I blanked out during that. The granite driveway. Oh my gosh. And here I thought I could beat Erin. And here I just binge watched him, and she still could beat me on a monkathon. Okay, I think this is going to look kind of pretty. I already like it. I haven't really done anything to it yet. Oh. Um, pro I had to check probably. Probably. It's probably under warranty. I 
think I like it. I'm just going to glue it down and not worry about it and figure out later what I'm going to do. Because I really don't know. I just know I want this to be part of the cover. And I still don't even know what the journal is going to look like yet. But I don't care. <laughs> it's a it's a done deal. Uh-oh. Where did my other thing go? It's a done deal, guys. We're just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Okay, that'll be the other journal, but I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but that will be the last one. That'll be four. I'll have this one, the other two that we made, and this one, and that'll be enough. I know usually don't put too many, too more than, too many more than four. All right, so back to this one. I think this is dry now. I think it's dry. So let's see how this is going to go. It's going to go like that. I have a little bit of something to flap over. Very good, very good. And then here we go. I think that'll work. This little piece it needs to be ironed, but it might look kind of cute. Sticking out here a little bit. So you can see it. <laughs> it's, it's hiding a little bit. <laughs> but you get the idea. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <sighs> Hi, Terry. All right, so um, I can't do sewing on camera here because it's in the other room. 
but I think what I'll end up doing is I'll sewing, I'll be, I'll sew around all of the perimeter of this particular, this is canvas. I'll sew around all that. I'll iron that out to lay properly. And probably sew down here on the bottom on these edges. Yeah, I think that's what will end up happening. This will end up being glued on here somehow. And I think more or less that's how that'll come together. But I'll clean it up, you know, I have to sew it and stuff like that. Um, so I can't put it together yet because I want to sew all that before. I sew in the signatures, but at least we got the base, you know, the base of it done. Yeah, okay, so you know what direction that's going. Now we still gotta see what I want to do with that. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Let me think, I gotta look at it for a second. I'm not sure. And after I did all the other ones, I found that I had this, which I don't know, it's probably coming across as black, but it's not. It's a really deep blue. So that could have gone on one of the, the journals too. But I had it, I had it out in the, underneath something else. <laughs> and didn't see it. It doesn't go with this, of course, but it does go with, with the look, like we were using the other kinds of fabrics and stuff. Oh my gosh, I got so much overload on this stuff too. I think I'm gonna have to put another um, bag of stuff together. Oh. Maybe this one will have like more, more flowers in it. When I put this one together. I wonder what it would look like if I spray these with a light blue. Do I have any light blue spray? I don't think so. I don't think so. So anyway, when I was, uh, oops, when I was getting all the stuff for the cyanotype, I was doing some reading on some other things. You know, you start reading one thing and who knows where you end up going. And I was learning a lot about um, transparent paint. Now, I never really paid that much attention either way because, you know, I'm not really, an, you know, a painting type artist. I don't hardly use paint except for the jelly print. <laughs> That's kind of my extent on paint. And so whether it was transparent or not, it didn't really matter. You know, I mean, I knew it gave a nice little effect. But what I didn't fully really appreciate is how transparent paints can be used in, um, it's not cyanotype because it's not a chemical, but um, still doing a, a form of sun printing, but with transparent paints. And I thought it was really interesting. I still don't quite understand what's happening to explain it, you know, um, to explain it to you what's, what's happening. But when I was paying attention, it made sense. But if you can't explain something, then that means you really don't understand it. <laughs> so I had to come to the conclusion was, okay, I guess I really don't understand it because I can't explain how it's how what what's going on basically. But if you're ever interested, look up transparent paint 
and sun sun printing with transparent paint. That's what you call it. And um, I found quite a few different um, um, videos. They're older ones, you know, some are like eight years old, but you can find them on YouTube. And it's kind of interesting. No, I'm not going to work that big enough. Huh. Let me think about this. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, what happened, Carla? I guess I have to look up. Oh, yeah. Our state is starting. Yeah, I was just saying earlier. Um, you know, we were avoiding the big numbers, but not anymore. It all changed like a week ago. So I don't think any state, any, I don't think any state's going to be immune actually. It's just at different stages, you know, unfortunately. All right, so what are we gonna do now? I have I don't, can't do anything on there because I have to sew on that. I'm still not really sure what I'm gonna do with this, although it is going to end up being a cover for sure. And I got all this mess put away. Hi, Patricia. Yeah, it seems like um, after every after every kit, I have like a like two big grab bags. I'm just because I'm a hoarder of paper, like all of you. Um, and I I take like look look. Oh, I can't throw that away. <laughs> and so when I get all these journals done, and then I get through doing the demos with you guys, I have all these you know leftover pieces and stuff. So the past couple of months, I've just been putting them, you know, in big grab bags and saying, who wants it? Man, they go fast. So I <laughs> grab bag going out, <laughs> being put together the next few days. As soon as I finish these, then I won't need all these little tidbits. I was like, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff I got. It's all over the place. I got two big, um, two big boxes over here with scraps. Scraps. Okay. Put this way. All right. So what are we going to do? Come on. Come on, people. <laughs> what are we going to do? We got to do something. We've only been here an hour. Oh, okay. I know. I'll show you. Did you guys? I, I well, let me backtrack. I posted a video in the group. I don't know if all of you guys are in the group. Um, am I putting what in the shop? Oh, Elaine wants some scraps. Um, am I putting what? No, I'll just, I'll just let you guys know in the group when I get them together. When they're ready to go, I'll let everybody know. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Even my scraps are pretty. Yay! <laughs> anyway, um... I don't want to be redundant. If most of you guys already saw the video in the group, um, 
I don't really need to show them again, but I forget who's in the group and who's in YouTube, YouTube land. I forget. I forget. You didn't see anything, Jennifer. How come? Yeah, I have a, well, I have several Facebook groups, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm getting overloaded with groups, but I also have a group that's just for the kits that we do so that we can encourage each other and, you know, see what each other's doing and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to buy the kits to be in the group. You can be over in the group and still be, you know, inspired. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing next month. And I got a little a little crazy. I went a little crazy. That's why I had to watch the whole thing of Monk because I just went crazy doing this and watching Monk. So <laughs> I usually make one journal um, as an example for you guys, and I ended up with four. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh I don't know what came over me. Uh, okay, so I'll just start from scratch and pretend I haven't talked about this <laughs> for for the benefit of those of you that haven't, you know, don't know anything about it. Um, when um, when we were um, finishing up, I guess I don't remember when. Anyway, sometime last month after I knew you know, we had the cyanotype going. I thought, oh no, what are we going to do next month? What do you guys want to do? And so somebody, um, some smart person, and I wish I could remember who, um, suggested something like medieval time. Well, I don't like that time. <laughs> but, you know, you got to give the people what they want. So I did some research and some reading and realized that, that time period flowed into the Renaissance period. And I said, okay, I can handle Renaissance. So we can do the flow thing. You know, we can go from the medieval where it kind of like crosses over into the Renaissance. And so if you want to do that, you know, or do the other one, it's all within that time period. So then um, I was going to do something totally different, decided not to do it because it was too time consuming and I wouldn't be able to show you how to do it because it was just, I was complicating, choosing something way too complicated. So then I thought, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? The time's crunching. I got to get these things done. And I was doing some cleaning out of some drawers and I came across a folio that Seven Gypsies um, used to offer. Oh, let me show it to you real quick. Some of you, you know, may recognize it. It was offered by Seven Gypsies, and it looked like this, pretty much. That's what it was, and yeah, Seven Gypsies. All right, so I came across this, and, and I thought, hmm, that's kind of interesting. What can we do with that? So I basically tore one apart. And came up with this and used that, um, you know, this style and then created my own idea with it and came up with this. So, um, but that was the inspiration. So most, most of these cover some time period because the, the time period we're talking about is from the 6th sixth cent, sixth century to the 15th century all that period of time is the medieval that goes into the time of enlightenment and into the renaissance period and that's pretty much what we're doing which gives everybody an opportunity to turn this into whatever it is that they want it to be all right so obviously you know maps are a big deal you know so there's you know map making was a really big deal then so on this particular one that's what i put and um, calendars, weird looking calendars. 
and um, really cool stuff, really cool stuff to choose from. Um, I wanted to mimic um, leather. So this is um, um, craft. Craft text, is that what it's called? Or craft name it. Anyway, so that's what this is. And um, it comes white. And then you can do whatever you want to do with it. So I will be showing you how to turn it into leather. And, um, and then it opens up like this, as you saw the other one. And then I um, proceeded to make little journals that fit inside of here. Again, using um, pictures and drawings and paintings of that period of time. So this is a small little journal that's in here and you know, you can fill it in with whatever you want, but I went toward the architecture and stuff like that. Cause that's just my thing. Um, botany was, you know, really highlighted during a certain period of that time. They made their first books that were made about um, ferns was made during that period of time. So a lot of interesting things. And of course the paintings that we're familiar with, and um, so then I made, with some leftovers, I made a little one to fit down there in the bottom. And this is just, um, this particular one is just uh, made to look. They used to carry things that look like this. And they would have navigational maps inside of it so that they could carry it on their waistband. But I just left this blank, you know, to do whatever it is you want to do, write, draw, print, whatever it is you guys are going to do. I'll just be one big piece of paper. Whoops. So that's how that little guy is made. I'll put the head letter. And then um, this particular, I'm going to forget which is which. Oh, and then here's like some more of the architecture. Love the architecture. And then these are some of Da Vinci's sketches. And I think this particular one has mostly his sketches, yeah. Some of the stuff he either, the maps he drew or sketches he made and stuff like that. He made a lot of uh, diagrams and sketches for uh, things that were used in the military. Um, you know, he's known for his portraits and stuff, but um, there's a lot of interesting things that he did in addition to that. So that's what I put inside of those. That's there. And I'd already done all these grommets when I saw her video. I'm going, oh, I wish I'd known before I did all this crazy stuff. <laughs> And then this one, I made this, I don't even know what you call this. I had made this a while back, oh, maybe two years ago, when I did um, this journal that had to do with travel and postage and stuff like that. And so I made it to look, you know, like those old fashioned um, things that hang on the wall where you used to put your letters, your in and out letters, you know, your grandmother's all had one of those on the wall. And I was trying to kind of mimic that when I made it in my other journal. And um, so anyway, I thought, well, to be able to stuff some stuff in there, you know, you just have to put these little, you know, gussets in there. And then there's plenty of room because usually when you have just places to put stuff, you can put like maybe two pieces of paper and you're already ready to tear stuff. So I figure, you know, if we make it big enough to put stuff, um, then um, you wouldn't have that trouble of, you know, things getting torn and things like that. Anyway, so this was the first one I made. All right. That was the first one. And then I thought, hmm. <laughs> and I remember I'm watching Monk the whole time now. <laughs> I want to keep watching. So I go, oh, I guess I got to make some more. So then, um, okay, so this was, you know, had like more towards Da Vinci stuff. So then they thought, 
well, let's do something a little more artsy in the front as opposed to, I thought that one looked a little masculine. So I thought, okay, well, let's get one of the paintings during that period of time. I did the same technique, you know, with the craft text and then uh, got something that had, you know, like I said, a little more feminine. And, whoops, that's not glue. And these aren't done yet, so they're almost they're almost all done. And so this one, um, again, they all have this this three the three sets of, of journals on this side. So this was this one here. This one I made a little bit different in that I put a screw kind of thing in there, so this kind of swivels, and you've got pages. Um, you can write or draw or glue or, you know, whatever. So I wanted to make them all a, a tiny, the little ones a tiny bit different. So that they just weren't all the same. And, um, and then this one has, they've all got, you know, time period stuff. <laughs> stuff. And, and then they all have this larger one that's in there too. And they all look a little, you know, a little different. I chose different stuff to put inside. This one has more of the ferns. That in this one. A little bit of architecture. Anyway, you get the idea. And then more architecture there. All right, so um, similar to um, what we did, what did, where did we do this on? I'm getting all the journals confused now. But, you know, when we, what was that? The Asian one? I don't even know. But similar to the, oh, no, no, it was the um, the industrial one. You know how we did the, woo -woo, you know, all that stuff with the, with the folder. Well, um, this is just a smaller version of that. Uh, smaller, what I mean is it's not so elaborate and everything. You're not putting signatures in there. It's just to house your ephemera. So I think what I'm going to end up doing with this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to decorate the back and then have it tied in here or if I'm going to glue the black back to here and have it be stationary. I, I'm kind of in limbo about that. That's why I haven't really done anything with it. But that's that's the direction that this one's going in. All right, so then I still had like three seasons left of Monk. So I go, aha, well, okay, let's keep going. So then um, I decided to do one in cloth instead of using the leather gizmo stuff. And... Um, and so another little, another little book. And this one's still a little bit different. It just opens up like a regular little book. And some more time period paintings. And you're getting the idea. I know you got the idea already. And this little another book. And I think this one, yeah, this one I put some more of the Da Vinci um, sketches and things like that, and um, some of his drawings and things that he had in his sketchbook diary, whatever you call that book he has. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that's that. Whoops. All right, so then I wanted to make, like I said, I want each side to be a little bit different in each one. So what I did put in this one, I have some envelopes. I have, well, okay, let's just open them. Let's just open them. Some envelopes, and in here are some tags that, you know, again, reflect the 
time period. There. And then a couple more envelopes. These are all envelopes. And then these envelopes have some ephemera. Some of the stuff that's similar into that other one that I just showed you. And then there's some more in here. And then I kind of aged and made kind of grungy some of the um, sketchings. And so that's other stuff that you can write on or tear apart and put in collage or, you know, whatever it is you want to do. Or write a letter to somebody. <laughs> so you've got the envelopes and you've got the papers to write on. And I made, I don't know what you call these, but um, it just opens up and has a whole bunch of stuff and it has little pockets and it has places to put things and hide things. Oh, there's more places. Never mind. And um, yeah. So, and I love that right there. Okay. So that's, whoops. So that is that one. Okay, Mr. Muck wasn't done yet. So I had to make one more. And I think I was on the last two now. The last two seasons. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. All right, so then don't get too excited, Jennifer. I know it's got a lot of orange in there. <laughs> All right, so these are my favorite colors. And there's one of those books again. This has more to do with flowers and stuff, botanical. This is more like my speed. <laughs> so I put some of my, um, of course I had to put some of my papers in there. I mean, what's a botanical journal without my papers in there? And then a bunch of fern pictures and stuff. So that's what's there. And then this one is made from scraps of the other one, of the, the leather-looking stuff. And then this just has a bunch of um, blank pages of paper. To play around with. And then, isn't she cute? And then the fern lady. Fern. The fern lady. Anyway, so. That's that. Okay, so we're already in the last season. We're getting there. And then I did the same version of a, a little flippy floppy thing that I did on the other one, except I went a little crazy and kind of went overboard. But anyway, um, so these have little thing, the jingers, uh, little pockets. I have some of my dried flowers um, that I've been playing around with this spring. And um, some of my eco dyed envelopes and some more of my pressed flowers and then places to put stuff in and more places to put stuff in more dried flowers more places uh, more places
I haven't finished that yet. Every every book has a little something that's not finished, and then there's a place here for you to put some stuff inside of there. So this is what I've been doing while binging a monk. <laughs> <laughs> so now I don't have monk, but then I discovered they had the good wife. So I thought, oh man, I only, I didn't see all the good wife. I don't know what happened. I don't know who did what, who ended up with who, did anybody kill anybody? I just don't know. So I thought, aha, I got to plan something else to be doing while I um, start the good wife. So anyway, so this is what we're going to be doing next month. Now, what we're going to be doing, okay, hold on now. Um, the, the pattern, you're going to get the pattern. And, um, and because the, because all of these are identical, they're all made. I mean, the fabric is what makes the difference of pictures, you know, all that stuff, the colors, but the construction is identical. So, um, I'll, sh uh, I'll have the pattern for the whole thing. The pattern of how to make this. We'll make this together. Um, I'm trying to get my thoughts here. So, okay. So we'll make this whole thing right here because, yeah, that whole thing. Um, okay, now only thing different. Okay, those are all the same. All the same stuff. Only thing different is this and and you guys already know how to do this the one you know we already did this before so you guys already know how to do this so I have to show you how to do that and 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 here, I think you know how to fold papers, but <laughs> so I don't have to show you how to fold papers, but this is just a smaller version of that, okay? There's just more of these door thingamajiggies in this one than this one. So that's also, they're the same. So really all, so what you'll be learning is this whole thing plus that. And then you can make them all. Clear as mud? <laughs> Clear as mud? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so what I've been doing today, because I finished all these yesterday and I, <laughs> I finished one yesterday. Anyway, um, I found a good wife today. So today I've been gathering the fabrics. Now this is where it's, this is where I'm going to get a headache and I don't want to get a headache where I'm going to get a headache is um, when it comes to the fabrics. Um, I have all the cut, the, the fabrics cut out, how, how, uh, and, but see, I don't have like, it isn't like I have, like everybody's going to get the same fabric because I don't have enough fabric for everybody to get the same fabric. So they're different fabrics, obviously. Um, and I don't want to put a hundred different listings up for all the different colors because then I'll get a headache over that one. So I've been trying to figure out um, how exactly I'm going to do this because it's either random choice. I just give you what I give you, which I know not everybody's going to be happy with that because everybody's got their favorite stuff. I know a lot of your favorites already, but I don't know everybody's favorite. And then sometimes you change. You want to do something different. You know, I, oh, I think I want to do that. I want purple again. I want something different. So, um, so, uh, yeah. So, that's what I'm trying, that dilemma I have right now is how to let you choose the color you want without making me crazy. <laughs> I'm just being honest. 
<laughs> I want to give you the option, but I don't want to go crazy over giving you the option. So that's why I'm trying to figure out how to do that um, without making it a lot of work for me. So, um, um, <laughs> what, what are all those ugly faces? Oh, I've created a monster in you? Good. We all need a little monster inside of us. Oh, dear. Here we go. Okay, this is what I was thinking of doing. I, I, you guys kind of vote on this. I don't know. I thought maybe I would come on. I would give you guys a notice of when I would come on and um, basically just put the fabrics out there. I've got like maybe five, six, seven of each one. And then just like you do like on on you know on the live sales you know you guys the first the first seven that pick that fabric it's yours you know and the next seven that get the other fabric that's yours and then i just slip that piece of fabric into your kit you know what i'm saying would that work or you know because then it was that's like a whole different way of doing it you know usually i just put the kit in the shop and then you guys go buy the kit um this way what I would do, this is what I would do, I think. I think we make it easy for me. Oh, no, that won't work either. Because I was going to say, I'd still put the kit in the shop. And then, because I don't want to bill all you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because that's more work for me. I'm trying to do the least work for me. <laughs> <laughs> because I could I could bring them all out right now and, and you guys buy whatever color it is you want. But then I got to bill all you guys. That's a lot of work for me. I don't want to do all that. I, I prefer you guys go over. Oh, CJ had an idea. Uh oh, on as yeah. oh. I guess I could do that. Then I got all those pictures I got to take and ah, see, I'm getting lazy. That's what it is. I mean, when it comes to the listings, I like putting four or five pictures saying what it is. You guys already know what all this is. Boom, bang. You got, you buy them. They're sold out. It's over with, you know. <laughs> um. Oh, huh. Um, yeah, it has. I'll show you. I'll show you briefly so far what I'm putting in the kit. I still haven't finished doing the kit yet. <clears throat> it's not done yet. So, 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 so. That's another thing. It's not done yet. All right. So, so far. And again, uh, well, I'll explain. I started visualizing another one. I think I might be making one more. <laughs> one more. I wanted to make a real foo-foo one. You know, because a lot of those ladies, if you look at the portraits of them, they are really got all this kind of, you know, gorgeous stuff on them. So I'm still going to make, I think, one more, and it's going to be a little foo-foo. So I'm going to put some tassels, and I'm, yeah, I'm going to do all that. So, um. So in case the fufu one is the one you guys end up, you know, saying, oh, I wish I could make a fufu one. So I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and put, um, I forget how much it is. Let me see. That is, I don't know, 24 inches. I don't know. Okay, let's figure it out. 12. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six inches. About twenty-six inches. Let's just say that. Let's say twenty-four, a a, um, a generous twenty-four inches. That way, you have plenty to put on the bottom or on the side, or whatever. And then you're gonna get um, you're gonna get two yards of sorry something. <laughs> They'll all, they'll all be all different colors and stuff, but you're going to get two yards of that. All right. Then I have a set of, um, I went searching through, you know, the different um, 
sites of the um, like museum sites and stuff that have a lot of downloads, free downloads. So I got a lot of stuff from there. And, um, and so for some of these, oh, but, okay, basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're gonna get of these kinds of, these kinds of cards, these kinds of things, you may not, you're not, you may not get these identical ones because I have a variety and so everybody's getting a little variety of stuff. So you're going to get like 10 of those kinds of things. Then because of the way that this is made, you have to have a cover, you need a cover picture, you need an inside picture, you need anybody, hey, you need four of this size because you need the back one, the front, and then the back the inside of this one and the inside of that. So that's four pictures. So those also will probably end up being um, kind of random of, um, you know, depictions that I have in the books already. Um, so you're going to get four of those. So you have for sure something to do with that. And then if you end up going with um, more of the architecture, there's going to be a couple of, of uh, what's his name? Of, Da Vinci stuff, a few of his um, sketches and drawings. And then if you decide to go on more of a botanical, the, whoops, there's Da Vinci. You'll have a couple of botanicals. And if you want to mix match, I always like to put the little napkin stuff. Um, I put that on a couple of pieces in there. But the colors, it's, it was funny. When I was doing all this research, everything pretty much ended up being in these these my favorite colors, you know, these autumn colors, which was very strange, but they all kind of like look like that. Anyway, so then I had these old cards, um, real old cards. Um, and so I think I got like 15 different ones. So you're going to get three of them, but it's going to be also random. I don't know. You don't know which three you'll get, but you'll get three of those. And this will be on card stock. So you can use them as a card. Um, and then this is like some of the architecture, the Renaissance architectures have some of that. And I just thought this was just so funky looking. Um, I had to include one of these in there too. And then uh, one of these little goofy maps. And then this is, um, you can use in that larger journal. These can be some of the pages that you put in that larger journal. And then a couple of Da Vinci's cool ones. Hold on. Some mappy kind of stuff. And then um, you're going to get enough fabric to obviously to make um, all those flippy flappy things. And then this is the craft text that um, is used. You get the same amount of that. So if you want to, you're going to have enough to make two journals at least, you know. And then I used this um, for the smaller little journals. Uh, and then on some of them, I use this depending if I wanted the green look or if I wanted to go with the lighter look. So you're going to get absolutely everything there is to make this. Um, if you have your own, some stuff that you can want to put into it, but really all you're going to need is some, you know, some blank piece of papers to fill in you know, to make your journals as thick as you want them. But as far as the um, the decorative part, um, everything will, will be provided for you. Whoops. Ta-da. Okay. So that's all it. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, and I'm going to include, um, you know, that little funky little screw that did that little small swing one. I'm going to 
the screw is going to be in there. You can have one of those too to play with. And if, and whatever I think, oh, and then also I'm putting in a few different odd shaped envelopes um, in case, you know, in case the ones you have are kind of just all the same size. Um, I know some people's, you know, stashes are getting a little low, but um, I'm going to put like maybe four or five different envelopes that you can use for that flippy floppy thing. <clears throat> um, and that's that. <coughs> that's it. trying to read <laughs> I'm trying to read um yeah I wasn't well the reason I had hesitated when it was going to go on sale because I wasn't sure how I was going to sell it like I was just telling you guys I was a little confused there for a while of how to do it um usually I put it on the 20th which when's the 20th oh dear so that you guys can get it by the next month um oh 20 is already Saturday holy moly well I guess I'll be deciding pretty quick <laughs> Yeah, I'll be decided. I'll let you guys know um, when it goes up ahead of time. And I encourage you, you know, if you're on Facebook, go over to the group because, you know, you get the heads up over there. I put in there um, free collages every month based on the theme of the, of the kit that you guys can print out. And, um, and then you get to see what other people are doing. You get inspired because... Um, they, they do a lot of cool stuff, really cool stuff. Um, the only thing that I'm not including, because I don't know if you guys have a crocodile, you know, I'm not including the grommets now, and you don't have to have grommets. That's the beauty of this. If you, this fabric, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> this material, I keep calling it fabric, this material, it won't tear. So you could very easily just put a square or a circle of fabric, glue it down or whatever, punch a hole and put this in there just to have a little contrast or something. And the same thing with this, you just double up a little piece of fabric and, and do the holes, you know, uh, just a regular hole and put your, 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 um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> do you have the other fit? Yeah, I can show them to you. That's what I was doing. Chop, chop, chopping. Chop, chop, chopping. I'm still on the hunt. I'm not done with those either. Uh, and I don't like how they come across on the camera. They don't look anything. They don't look anything like, like they really are which is very discouraging because I picked some really pretty stuff and I was looking at, it, I put them on the camera and I go, Oh my gosh, these guys, these things look so ugly. <laughs> so this is one of the fabrics. Now see, it looks really, really gross. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful fabric. And I can, I'm looking right now on the monitor and it's just, it's all washed out. And it's not even showing the real colors. I mean, because this is like a beautiful teal right here and a really pretty green. And I don't even know what you would call this. It's, um, I don't know what it is. It's just, I just, it's one of my favorite fabrics I have. So for to see it look like it does a monitor, it's just, um, yeah, not very, not very encouraging. And then this is the one that you saw already made. And then um, this one, now see, it looks blue. It's not blue. It's purple with a real pretty green. It doesn't even show up right. A little bit of gold on here. See, it doesn't even look purple. It's purple. You're going to have to trust me on that one. Then I have, and I have, forget how many, I got quite a few of those. Those are the purple. I'm going to keep them together. I don't know why they were separate. Those are the purple ones. 
Let me get that out of the way. Whoops. And this is a different purple, different purple one. I'm seeing it looks gross. <laughs> this is really pretty. <laughs> and this is like a bronzy color. And that just looks black, but it's purple. Anyway, so I've got the purples. I have some more of this fabric that I still have to cut up. Whoops, wrong way. And I have some of these that are some really pretty golds, beige, and brown. This one's really pretty, too. I had to search, you know, through my upholstery because you needed to have it kind of thick to hold up those sides when you're just using it as the whole cover of the book. But it's, it's holding up pretty good. This, I don't know what color this shows up. This is really pretty. This is like a, almost like a chartreuse green. And it's got a, an orange and a pinkish kind of color. And look at the inside. So when you use this one, because on all these, you see the back side when you open them up. This one's really going to look really, really funky looking. I like this one. Maybe this is the one I'll turn into the foo foo one. That's that. Then I have just the basic green. I remember not a lot of the fabric ends up showing. It's just the spine, basically. The rest is the picture and, you know, all that. And then I have this one. So those are some. I haven't cut them all yet. Those are some of the colors and some of the prints that I have. Ugh. But I wish this showed up. And I have, oh, and I have, um, I have some of this fabric too, the one I used on this one. This, this is really pretty. It's kind of satiny it's a brocade like and i have some of that left too so anyway so that's what we're dealing with let me get these out of the way oh kim wants the purple she wants the purple it's a beautiful color So anyway, so that's the scoop, ladies. That is the scoop. Well, thank you, ladies. Yeah, I like all those fabrics. I've I've done, you know, I think I think every single one of those I've already made a journal like, you know, over a year ago. Um <clears throat> I made journals out of those. And I I just really like all those fabrics. You're welcome, Tamar. Hey, Diane's here. Listen, everybody. Do you see Diane here? Is it Diane or Diana? And I'm getting confused. Do you see their crates of creativity? Do you see her there? How many people see her? <laughs> so anyway. Oh, Diana. Okay. Diana and I are going to be going live Friday. I want you guys to really make her feel welcome because she's never done a live before. So we're going to do it together Friday. 
I don't know. We decided on the time yet. <laughs> I don't know. We decide. She said any time, like, I think she said like between four or six or something like that. Her time she's in California or did she say earlier? I don't remember now, but anyway, so we're going to do it on Friday. Um, just already freakier. <laughs> okay. So this is what we did. Um, I love her work. I mean, I watch her videos, everything she does. I absolutely love it. And she, cause she's like, she's her own person. You know how when you watch videos, you go, Oh, I got this idea from so-and-so. And, oh, and then I got this from so-and-so and oh, I'm doing this. Cause I saw she doesn't do that. Cause that's not what she does. They're all her own ideas. So she doesn't go around giving anybody credit because they're her own ideas. So that's why I like her a lot because she's very creative. Well, anyway, so I contacted her and I said, I think it would be super cool if we did like a swap or, you know, a swap of some kind, but not just make something and, and give it to them, you know, because I want something of hers really bad. So what I proposed to her was that we each send each other some items and um, and then with those items, we have to make something. Well, what I forgot to mention to her, so I'm going to tell you right now, is that whatever she makes, I get it back. Because <laughs> I want what she made with my stuff. So whatever I make, I'm going to send it back to her. So um, I don't think she kind of knew that. But anyway, she knows that now. But the point is, um, so on Friday, we I already got my package. She got her package. And so on Friday, we're going to open them up and we're going to see what we have to work with. And then depending on how comfortable she feels, you know, then we'll decide, you know, are we going to do videos together when we're working on it? Are we going to do them separate? You know, whatever it is we do, one together, all the rest separate, whatever she wants to do is up to her because I want her to feel comfortable. But I want her to feel uncomfortable Friday because she has to go live with me on Friday. So, <laughs> so if you guys would please join us, I'm not sure exactly what time yet, but it'll be around, if it's, if it's like four o'clock her time, then it's six o'clock my time. So, you know, figure looking at, look out for, you know, six or seven ish sort of, um, central time, my time. And we'll be going on sometime around there. And then we'll open up our goodies. You'll get to meet her. And um, maybe she can show you a few of her her um, creations there that she's made. She's very talented. And then we'll get the scoop on her. What, what, you know, like, what did she do before she did this? Because it's obvious she's some kind of an artist. I don't, just don't know what kind. So we're going to get the scoop. We're going to get the scoop on her. So start writing down your questions. <laughs> Let's get her really nervous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I can talk over anybody. So she doesn't, she doesn't have to be worried about how to say anything. <laughs> but I have a feeling she has no problem speaking up for herself. <laughs> oh. Okay, ladies, so what else are we doing? Is that it for tonight? What time is it? See, it's been two hours. Because I really didn't have a plan except to start that little journal. And, um, and you know, what are we going to do? It's already, that's a little bit dry. But I, do, I have to sew on that fabric before I go any further. So that's why I can't, really can't do anything else with it because I have to sew it all up. And I'll have to do that off off camera. Oh, Betty's here. How did I miss Betty? Kathleen's been we have a lot of lurkers tonight. I like how you ladies just kind of lay low and don't say much. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, Terry. I appreciate it.
Oh, Betty wants to know if she won. Oh, boy. I'm not sure what she thought she was going to win. B. She wants B. Oh, she wants B. <laughs> yeah, you won, Betty. Um, I think somebody did up there post her channel. Darla, can you do it again? Or or um or Aaron, one of you? I know one of you I thought I saw you do it. Could you do it again, please? Yeah, Diana, these ladies are a little are a little goofy. That's why we like each other. All the goofy ones found each other. See, Betty's already dancing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Yeah, no, no normal people allowed here at all. There's her channel. And we have to look into this. I think... I think, Diana, there's a setting because you said that they only went to your settings. You can ask for longer and they, they give everybody longer. I mean, I remember when I first got on, it said 15 minutes and then somebody suggested I go into the settings somewhere. I can't remember it so long ago. And and they'll change it for you. They just they just change it. So um, I'll, I'll I'll have Darla look into that for you. Darla is our techie. <laughs> if there's anything technical we need to know, Darla has the answer. <laughs> well, all I know is that tomorrow morning, I'm going to be worried if I don't see Mr. Bunny. He wasn't there this morning, and he wasn't there yesterday afternoon. So, I hope he didn't move. I hope he's still around. Poor little thing. Poor little bunny. <laughs> anyway, okay, ladies. Do you have any questions? Otherwise, you know, <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. I didn't have anything planned at all. Help me, help me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But he's 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 really um he's really tiny. It's so funny. He looks like a little bunny. I mean, he looks like a baby. And over in the area underneath the tree under my window there where he's always you know has been always there in the morning. There's this little spot like that, you know, where all the grass is smushed down. He's got his little bed. He has these two places that are perfectly flat and oval. And those are the two places where he always um, sits down. <laughs> but, you know, he might have a girlfriend somewhere. Yeah, right, Kathleen. I don't know what to call them either. I don't know what they are. <laughs> well, Elaine, somebody told me that they're solitary animals because I asked. I said, you know, he's all by himself. I never see him with another. He just sits there all day long chewing on stuff. And then he leaves for a couple hours. Then he's back, you know, for like six hours. And someone said that they are solitary animals. So I didn't feel so. I was starting to feel bad for him because we have another rabbit on the other side of the house and he never leaves over there. I don't even know if they know each other. <laughs> but if one's a girl and one's a boy, they may have met already. I don't know. <laughs> they may have met and that might be the problem. He might be on the other side of the house now. Well, you know, Kathleen, 
this is the thing. I was just talking to my husband about it. I said, you think about like Disney movies and stuff like that. You might have, you know, a little family intact, but then once they're older, what are they doing? They're hanging out with a bird, you know, <laughs> or, or a gopher or they're hanging out with other people. They're not hanging out with other bunnies. Seriously. And so maybe the, the little bunny stories with the whole family together, it is fiction. They really wish they had a family, but, you know, they just don't. They hang out with other, with other people, other guys. Think about Bugs Bunny. He didn't even have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, Thumper was all by himself. These are serious things to think about. We're lied to from the very beginning about everything. Even about our the bunny stories. Aww. <sighs> yeah they lie to us the American bunny dream is dead it is wham bam thank you man that's why he's called thumper 15 minutes okay wait 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 Feature eligibility, that is where you set up videos over 15 minutes in live stream settings, channel, feature eligibility. There you go. Diana, there you go. Go to settings, channel, feature eligibility. Click what you want. Click how long you want your videos to be. Over 15 minutes. There you go. That way you don't have to do all that editing. You don't have to talk over your um, your videos. I tell you, if I ask Darla something before anybody can look it up, she's already got the answer. She's very fast. Got any more questions for her? But did I mention Darla does this for a living? So <laughs> she gives us she gives us free advice. <laughs> Darla. <laughs> No, she's a techie. She's not a philosopher. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, ladies. I have no idea what to do. So, I think. Um, I think. I think this is. This is all I have tonight. <clears throat> so, I think what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to put the good wipe on. I'm going to start cutting all of the, because um, I still have to cut all of the uh, the tassels. <clears throat> and it'll take me forever in a day. And I'll get that all done. And, um, and then if I can figure out, I guess if I can figure out the different color scheme or hot, but see, I got like two different purples, got two different greens. Oh, dear. That might get complicated. And then you ask for green, and it's the wrong green, because I got two greens. Um, hmm. Well, another way of doing this is um, <clears throat> those of you that you know, watch my lives or in the group. 
I'll figure out a device where you can pick the color. And then the people that just go to Etsy that don't do any of that, they won't know the difference anyway. And I'll just give them whatever I have. Um, give them a number. Oh, see, 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 see. Darla has all the answers. Why didn't I just ask her? I think I just need to give you the password to my Etsy and just let you. <laughs> I just let you put my listings up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh no, Kathleen. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me show you something. Okay, the question is, do I have a big bolt? Here's the question. Whoa. Uh. And here is the answer. <laughs> oh. Okay. So. So, yeah. What do you think? You think I got a big bundle? Oh. Yeah, just a little. Just a little. <laughs> what? Oh no, CJ gets too complicated for me. All I know are passwords. Oh, I know, Lucy. I don't know if that'll be enough either. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a yes. <laughs> oh, God. Any other questions? <laughs> But see now, see, you guys are getting excited about this, which I'm excited about this too. But see, now I already have to start thinking about the next month. <laughs> now I have, huh? How much? For, no, no, no. Those are going in the, that's going in the, um, in the kits. No per yard. <laughs> I don't think I'll have any left. Maybe I have some left. I'll let you guys know. But I thought what would be kind of cute is like um, like on this section, when I make the foo-foo one, I, I've been thinking about, well, how am I going to do the foo-foo one? But like, like here in these sections, I think it'd be kind of cool if I just got a single one of those little tassels and that was hanging from here and here. And if I did one of these tassels from here too, and maybe from here, I mean, you know, just really tassel it up. Because remember, it's not a foo, it's a foo foo. So it's like kind of to the extreme. You got some of the other what? You got some of the other. Got some of the other what? Suze, what are you talking about? Please explain. She's not explaining. Okay. Let me put this back over here. Oh. Ouch. <sighs> okay. 
<laughs> that stuff that leaves off um, dusty stuff. Um, when you sell the other tasks, I'm saying, I'm saying. You want some of the same? I'm confused. The tassel that's going in these kits, I've never sold before. So it's new tassel as far as from me. You're saying you want a different tassel? I'm too confused. Yeah, the other tassel I have that I sold, yeah, that orange reddish one, I have some of that. I bought a slew of that one because I couldn't pass up the deal. Um, where is it? I have a piece over here somewhere. I know I got a piece over here that I'm just cleaning up. I'm just cleaning up pieces. Are you referring to that one? Oh, well, this this is the one that's coming with the kit, that one right up there. But some of you have already bought some of this from me. So I didn't want to put it in the kit so that it wouldn't be duplicating, you know, what some people have already bought. I hope it looks pretty cool with this fabric. Hello. <coughs> it does look pretty cool there. Oh, you wanted the cream. Yeah, that's what's coming. That's coming with the kit. And then if there's anything left over, I'll let you guys know in case you guys want to get some by the yard. But you'll be getting um, um, around, what did, I, what did we figure it was? A little over, like about 30 inches or so. If you have gray leftovers, well, just to be clear, this is not gray. If you're talking about this, this is like a cream color. This is like a cream color. No gray. It's the crazy, uh, the crazy monitor again. There's only one kit, Lucy. Everything comes with the one kit. You'll be able to, to make, with the one kit, you'll be able to make a a um, whatever this is called, folio, whatever, um, with this, because that's coming with the kit. And with the same same kit, you'll be able to make something like this, because it's also coming with the fabric. And last minute, I decided on a fufu, so I'm including this in the kit, and you could add this to whatever fabric you're getting to create a fufu look. So you're really getting all the materials to make all the looks in the kit. Yeah, so whatever look you like, you'll have the stuff in there to make it. And I figure if you're like me, you're gonna end up making more than one and you'll have the stuff to make more than one. The only thing basically you guys have to provide um, as far as the construction, the actual construction is you're going to need um, a piece of
cardboard, two pieces of cardboard this size. I didn't have enough cardboard of anything to include in the kit, but I'm sure with all, all of us being homebound, we're getting stuff in the mail all the time. And so you've got plenty of boxes that have come in. So that's the only, that's the only thing you're going to have to um, provide is the cardboard. Everything else will be there. <laughs> Lucy. Beth, where's Beth? Oh, hi, Beth. We're just wrapping it up. I'm trying to figure out what anybody wants to talk about. Because I'm done. Okay, so is that what we're going to call this? A folio? Is that what we're going to call it? Because I don't even know what to call it. I guess so, because the inspiration was this, and they sold this as a folio. So... So look at things. I mean, <clears throat> even if you go to junk shops, you don't buy some, you know, the junk. Well, nowadays we're not going anywhere. But, I mean, look at your own place. You might find stuff. Now, see, out of this came these. So you can get inspiration um, from anywhere. Oh, and I've got to remember. I've got to remember to put those little screws in there, too. Because they're so small, I'm going to forget. I know I'm going to forget something. I better not. <laughs> Poor Beth. <laughs> Too bad I don't have a game. We could play a game. I don't even have a game to play. I'm totally unprepared. Yeah, uh, writing things down don't work for me because I forget where I write stuff down and I never look back at what I wrote. <laughs> but I am going to do, I'm going to get the little container and put it over on my pile. That way, for sure, I will not forget. Because I know myself. Okay, I won't forget because it's there. They're right on top of my my prototype. Oh, well, these would probably be pretty cool for that. Those really stiff ones. I got these, um, let me show you them really quick. I haven't figured out what to do with these, but these are um, really kind of different. I got these a while back. These aren't really folders. They're the file dividers, but these are so thick. It's unbelievable. Look at that. And they got cool little numbers, but that wasn't what I was looking for. <laughs> um, there's this other thing. Where is it? Oh, and I got this. Here we go. This was in the same batch 
of these, and it's these big old things. And these are like super, super thick. And then it has this cloth in here. And it's all ready for you to put signatures in there. There's no way this thing's going to fall apart. So I think this is going to be put in one of my boils. Because see, look how wide this can go. This must be like for lawyers or something. Like a lot of legal papers would fit in there. But wouldn't that be cool? Very cool. Okay, I know. I got to have some ideas for the coming months. I have a few of my own, but maybe there you guys have ideas of stuff you want um, for the kits that I haven't even thought of. Start throwing them out there, ladies. See what, what kind of things you guys are thinking about. Future ideas. Oh, you've got these in your office, Darla. Man. A lace kit. Okay, let me, I got to write these down. I'm going to write them right here because I will forget. Where should I put them? Where should I write these down that I will not lose them? Let me find something. Uh. Oh, I know. This is where I write all the swaps for the group. I always have this around. Let's just put it on the back page. Okay, what do we got? We've got lace kit. Right? Right. Lace, what else? Oh, yeah. I'm still, you know what, Elaine? I am still working on that. It is so hard, at least for me, to find the Southwest um, stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, Ooh, right, 20s. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Yeah, I've got the Native American. I've been having trouble. Um, really having a lot of trouble finding appropriate stuff for that. Everything's just stupid. Um, circus. I hate circus stuff. <laughs> but I'll write it down. I know it's, it's for you guys. <laughs> children. What do you mean by children? That's just like so, so all encompassing. Dolls. Yeah, we could do another Silk Road because we never really did the journal, right? We just, I sold a bunch of stuff. And there's people that, you know, weren't, that are, you know, buying these kits that weren't there at the time. So maybe we could revisit that. Ooh, Starry Night and Moon Kit. I have no idea what that means, but I like the way it sounds. You know, sometimes the sound just sounds right, even though if you don't know what the heck it's, it is. <laughs> Classroom schoolhouse. I think clowns are creepy. And then 
When I think of circus, I mean, I don't want to put a damper on anybody. But when I think of circus, all I think is the mistreatment of animals. That's all I can think about. So I don't I don't have any like warm, fuzzy feelings when I think of the circus. Um, Americana. Ooh, we've got two votes for moons. Rock and roll, the birth of rock and roll. Now, a lot of these are really cool ideas, but I don't have a clue of what I could do to contribute to it. <laughs> I know Popo's a super fan of the of the circus. I think she's going to make a really cool journal for it. But make sure you look at it during the daytime, not at night. Um, Picasso. Hmm. Oh, the apothecary. Oh, see? That's what I need. I need reminders. Okay, so that we talked about many times. So I know that's on people's mind. The apothecary, the Southwest, that's been mentioned many times. Native American mentioned many times. I'm putting asterisks around the ones that are repeats. Um, let's see. Oh, it was you, Kim, that mentioned it. Well, thank you for mentioning it. I really wouldn't have, you know, done that much research or anything about it. But I found a lot of interesting stuff in doing my research. Um, you know, you, um, ah, Georgia O'Keeffe, uh, you know what? I only like her flowers. I don't like her other, I don't like her other art to tell you the truth. I like, I love her flowers though. Have you seen her other stuff? I don't like it. <laughs> Let me write her down. Um, but anyway, there was a lot of um, stuff that, you know, I just didn't, didn't um, think about, you know. Classic. Famous idea sounds, sounds like homework. What? Sandra, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm going to show my ignorance. Who is Bev Doolittle? Okay, I'm going to, I know, I must be stupid. What about the watercolor journal with the hinges? Uh-oh, you're going to have to remind me what that is. Let me look back up. I think I missed a bunch of them. Um... Honestly, where am I? Where did I leave off? I lost my place. Oh, okay. Antique animals. Research, research. Darla, what are we talking about? Oh, what about your... Colored... Oh, I'm, I'm lost now.
Oh, it's something I did? Well, you better remember, darling. You're the one that remembers everything. What about the journal with the, the watercolor journal with the hinges? Huh. Huh. Indian. Indian. You know, the, the style, I mean, just the aesthetics, the look that I think is so pretty is um, like a 1930s um, safari, but of course, a photographic safari. <laughs> but just, you know, the look, um, I guess it's the clothing of that era that they designed specifically when they went on safari. I love those uh, clothes, but we'd have to do a um, photographic as opposed to a bang bang. <laughs> Doolittle does Native American art. Oh, I'm going to. Thank you, Donna. Oh, that sounds really neat. I will definitely look her up. So I would, I'll put her name next to, uh, next to Southwest and Native American. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I've been, I also have been thinking of like combining the art deco, art, art nouveau kind of, I know they're two distinct looks, but in my mind, they overlap each other. Maybe that um, the doodle art, maybe that would be something that we could just like do the art ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Mimic it or do it with collage um, to mimic that look. I'll have to check her out before I, before I say anything else because maybe it wouldn't work. <laughs> but yeah, like her being a living artist, you know, there's no way we could like, you know, use her art and make copies and stuff like that. Well, guy, you guys gave me a lot of stuff to work with. Origami, you know, we, I mean, we didn't do exactly, well, I guess we kind of sort of did do origami already because we did a, 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 uh, an Asian one, and we did we did origami in that particular journal. We made some stuff. When did we do that? I'm losing track of time. Maxfield Parish. Is that the guy that lived in the? Late 1800s, is that, am I thinking of the right person? I get my people confused very easily. Okay, yeah, I think I know who he is. I like him too. Mm-hmm. I showed you guys, let me go get it again. I'll, um, 
for those of you that weren't here, I have a couple of books that have, um, it's neither one of those guys, but um, going back to the Art Gecko stuff. Last time I showed these books, one of you guys, I forget who, looked the books up and said one of the books was worth a lot of money. And I was just going to tear it apart <laughs> to make, um, to make, uh, what do you call it, um, kits for you guys. But then somebody said, uh, that was worth blah, blah, blah. I forget what it was. But it wasn't chump change. That's all I know. Oh, well, if you like, if you like Erte, hello. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> anyway, one of these books, and I remember which one, was worth like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, you can't get any more Art Deco than, than this stuff. I think um, the, um, unless I'm wrong, because, you know, I don't know much about this stuff. I just know what I like. I don't know. Um, woo, camera does not like that one. Um, as far as the study of this type of art, I, I know nothing. I just know what I like. And, um, I think that this, I think this is, I don't know. Is this more, is this more the art deco or the art nouveau? All I know is that one of the two, and I forget which is which, one of them to me has more straight lines, which is this one. And the other has softer, more roundy, <laughs> rounder shapes. I see one being very, um, I can't even think of the word. You guys know what I mean, though. And I don't know which is which the name. Okay, this is Art Deco. Okay, so the Art Deco to me have has more hard lines than the Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau to me is more swirly and that's just my opinion. That's just how my eye sees it. That's cool. Bright colors, just the way I like it. <laughs> Whoa. Look out. And they all look mean. <laughs> Art Deco times. All the ladies look a little mean. And then the Art Nouveau, they looked a little more feminine as opposed to. Ooh, that's cool.
So anyway, needless to say, that put the kibosh on me tearing it apart. Because I thought, well, maybe I could just sell the book. Because the pages are so big, even if I tore it apart, they're actually, everything in here is actually too big to put in a journal unless you cut the bottom half of the body off, you know? Well, that's smaller. But I mean, most of these pictures are so big, there's no way that you could um, incorporate them in a journal. So... You know, either way, it just really wasn't worth it to tear it apart. Oh, look how cool that is. Yeah, that's right, Lucy, they do. I don't know, I, I know all about Dober. I don't know why I always keep forgetting. I know and then I forget. I have a whole bunch of their books. I just had the wrong ones. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh, yeah, those are the best ones to get, the ones with the CDs. They're always a little pricier, but they're worth it. And then here is the Nouveau. See right away, a lot more feminine. Softer lines, swirly moves. Even the printing, the font during that period. Zips more feminine. This is a cool book. Okay, auction time. <laughs> Ooh, look how pretty. I used to have some of these posters way back when. Anyway, you guys get the idea. And then everybody's favorite. If you like that time period, this is everybody's favorite. Not just because it's orange. Oh, 
how pretty. I love the colors. Again, look, all orange. Look, 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 look. And that was like what I was noticing too over there with the, the Renaissance period. It was a lot of these same tones. So I got to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm taking the day off from making stuff. If I'm going to go rest stuff tomorrow, because it's going to be warm. If I'm going to do some eco printing, I feel like I need a break from um, journals, journal making stuff. I need to clear my mind and do something different. I mean, well, everything surrounds the same thing, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Ooh, Prohibition. Bonnie and Clyde. You can put a lot of things during that period of time. Silent movies. It might be simpler if we just did a journal based on art artists, you know, maybe not just one. Sort of like we're doing the um, the Renaissance and medieval time. It, it's a span, right? So it's not any one particular thing or person. And maybe famous artists during a certain period of time. And that way you could include your favorite artists. I don't know. Hey, Christine. Look, I mean... It's all the, the beautiful oranges and greens. So pretty. Look, 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 look. I love his palette. So anyway. I don't think it's going to be worth tearing these books apart because, you know, you can't use the whole page anyway. But I just, it, I mean, it sounds funny, but I just think it's such a waste to leave them in a book. <laughs> I want to put them in another book. <laughs> How stupid is that? But that's the way I feel. <laughs> I don't want to waste him in here. I want him in a book. Uh, I can just see my husband going, what? You want to take him out of a book to put him in a book? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. <gasps> And I love all the stained glass work during this period of time. It's so pretty. 
So it's just um, all of his work. And and Art Nouveau. I didn't really consider him Art Nouveau, but which is really strange to have it in the front cover. But I guess anyone during that period, it was Art Nouveau. He always seemed um, impressionistic, and I didn't think Art Nouveau was very impressionistic. But hey, who am I? Anyway. Let me read. I should have been reading. Ooh, I do have that. I don't have to worry about copyright with my... Um, with my eco prints, right? <laughs> oh, the Japanese fairy tales, yeah. I had a couple of cool books. I tore apart and put some of the, you know, some of the pages in those kits. Kathleen, how could you be on vacation from watching paper stuff? I just don't understand how you could do that. Anyway, I know my life's paper too. It's starting to engulf my my being here. I gotta get get things under control. Oh well, you were still involved in paper. No, oh, Darla's got all the all the names already in there. Oh, I guess she put it in wrong. What happened? Oh, she spelled something wrong. <laughs> I know what you mean. That's why I, I, while I was doing all of the, uh, all this, these journals, I didn't watch any paper stuff either. I, uh, I was watching Monk. I watched all eight seasons, had it on from the second I started working on my journals until I finished them. And so I wasn't distracted by, how do you do that? <laughs> oh, I think I want to try that on my next journal. No, none of that. Pure Monk. I know, Kathleen. That's why I've started a new rule for myself that when I finish these these batches of journals each month, um, I get um, my scraps together. I, I say scraps, but they're like practically, you know, kits because of full full stuff. But it's stuff that I put together specifically for those journals, and. Um, and then I make some grab bags. That way, you know, I don't have to look at piles. <laughs> the same stuff. Because what I do is I usually have like two different bins that's full of the stuff that I'm using that month. And, you know, I don't end up using all bin. So, and then I have to get rid of that so I can put the next one. Where did you watch Monk? Um, on um, Amazon Prime. All the all the uh, all the seasons are on there, and so now I'm starting The Good Wife. All the seasons for that are there too.
Well, I never used to get rid of paper either, but now that I'm doing these kits, it's it's way too much paper. Um, Monk was a TV series. I don't remember when it ran. It was a TV series about a man. His last name is Monk. M-O-N. M-O-N-K is his last name. And he was just epitomized, you know, people that have all kinds of phobias of all different kinds. It was a comedy detective show. And um, the premise was that at one point he was, you know, a happy person, happy-go-lucky person, and his wife was killed. And he developed some psychosis that made him hypersensitive to everything and he was depressed about everything and he couldn't find joy in anything and you know but he was a great detective and so he freelances because emotionally he he, uh, he can't be a police he was a police officer and he can't be a police officer anymore he was a detective in the police force so um so that whole premise is that and all the crazy stuff <laughs> that he does. And the backstory is always him trying to figure out. He feels as a failure because he, he, um, he figures out um, the who done it. He always figures out who did what, except he cannot solve his wife's murder. So he feels he's a failure because that's the most important thing for him to do is to solve his um, wife's murder. So I think there's like eight, eight or nine seasons. It's just a goofy show, but it's fun because it's goofy. <laughs> I like watching goofy stuff. <laughs> yeah. And he has a partner and he has to, I mean, he'd be great during this, this crisis because he won't touch nothing. <laughs> he wipes everything down. <laughs> so he'd be fine. He, you know, he'd be perfectly fine. Um, and he has an assistant, drives her absolutely bananas because of all of his demands. He's not exactly an easy man to work for. How about just collage artists? Oh, I like that idea too. No, it was American. It was an American show. I didn't know that, Lucy. He made you nervous? <laughs> That's funny. That shows you got a phobia. <laughs> oh, okay. I, hi, Lorena. Are you leaving? Yeah, we're just jabbering now. I was leaving an hour ago, and here we are still jabbering. But people know that about me, so no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen couldn't watch Barney. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I was talking with a friend of mine, and I don't know how the conversation came up, but we were talking about um, um, if if we had a compile um, like movie stars or anybody famous, you know, in the entertainment field um, and compile a couple of people and that would, um, um, what's, what's what I'm trying to think of? It would kind of like describe or, or show what our spouse was like. <laughs> 
And she, she came out with some crazy stuff. And so she goes, what about you, Rosemary? Who would you pick? Who would you pick? So I was thinking, okay. Um, my, my husband has the, the, my husband's originally from New York City. So um, he, he comes across like Joe Pesci, you know. So Joe Pesci has to be one part of his personality. And then, um, and then, yeah, then this other person's personality, I was, I was saying it had to be like Archie Bunker, because I guess the New York part, and then the, um, you know, having an opinion about everything part. So you got to combine Joe Pesci and Archie Bunker. <laughs> Uh, and uh, who was the other person I told him? Oh, and Columbo. <laughs> That's what I had. If you want to know the personality of my husband, that's who it is. Columbo, <laughs> Joe Pesci, and Archie Bunker. <laughs> now, if you can decipher that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Elaine, that's why we're still married. <laughs> people people that, that know my husband forever, you know, I'm like in the beginning, like we'd only been married maybe about five, maybe maybe ten years. Um, all his family's on the East Coast, and we met on the West Coast, so I didn't know any of his family at all. I mean, I heard stories he's told me and stuff like that. So then I can't remember, yeah, maybe married around 10 years. Um, and we went back to the East Coast because of Richard's work. So slowly, you know, we made our way around to where his relatives were, and inevitably, <laughs> everybody, all his family said, Rosemary. You must be a saint. <laughs> and I'm going, what? You must be a saint, Rosemary. Ten years you've been married to him. <laughs> oh, it's <was> too funny. Yeah, it's hard when it's an ex, <laughs> a Jennifer. <laughs> it's real hard to describe an ex, I'm sure. <laughs> I remember, I remember the first time I saw, personally, I mean, I'm sure he's done a lot of movies before, but the first time I ever saw Joe Pesci was my cousin Vinny. And I'm going, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, help me somebody. <laughs> and, and, then, and then my husband, my husband's a highly intellectual person. Okay. Very intellect, he intellectualizes everything <laughs> to a fault. All right. And, um, and, and, and he, um, he has this, this uncanny, well, just like Columbo, okay, you know, he comes across like he really doesn't know what he's talking about, but he's just like, and my husband doesn't do it, inten it isn't like my husband's trying to trip people up or anything, it's not intentional, it's just his personality, <laughs> and um, <laughs> so, so yeah, <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> he's, he's funny, <laughs> And and then you then on top of that, um, you know he he was well, it's part of intellectualizing anything when he when he found out that um, you know his, his sugars had gone crazy and before that his health you know he had nothing wrong with his health as far as things like that you know he's always been oh and this another thing an attribute I mean why you know he does things the way he does. He intimidates people, but not on purpose. He intimidates them because he's deaf in one ear, 
we've learned all this through the years of why people perceive him a certain way. He's deaf in one ear from childhood and and has only like 40% of his hearing in his other ear. That was also from childhood, okay? So um so when so when he looks at you, he looks at you intently, almost in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. Well, the reason he does that is he's basically reading your lips. He's he's done that forever. So if he, he can't, if he doesn't hear everything you're saying, he makes sure he's watching your mouth and your expressions so that he doesn't miss anything. But if people don't know that about him, he looks very intense. <laughs> Cause he's like, you know, eyeing you down. <laughs> So that's one thing he, 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 you know, people feel that's intimidating. And, um, and then there isn't any conversation you can have that he doesn't have some knowledge about. He's very knowledgeable. He reads all the time and he doesn't forget anything. You know, I'll say, when did you read that? I see, he goes, oh, I think that was like in 1982. There was this book. I'm like, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, he can't even see the salt when it's in front of him. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where's the cream, Rosemary? Uh, where it's been for the past 10 years on the top shelf of the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, yeah, he remembers. And um, what he does also, and this, I'm not exaggerating. Somebody will come over and we'll have a conversation about something, whatever it might be. Who knows what it is? It doesn't matter what it is. It could be geography. It could be science. I don't care what it is. And he'll go, oh, you know, I read this. And then he will like glance on his books and go get the book and open it to the general area where he, he knows it is, whether, you know, middle, front, back, whatever. And he'll go to the general area, flip maybe five, six, seven, eight pages. Boom, there it is. And then he'll read what he just got through quoting a few minutes before. <laughs> and now he remembers the book and probably where it is, but not exactly where it is. And he thinks he's getting dementia. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to throw in there a little bit of monk now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I need to throw a little bit of monk into that description. <laughs> <laughs> I know my husband too. I don't play with him. He knows everything. But it's kind of good because I don't have to Google stuff when I'm around him. I'll just say, you remember that blah, 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 blah. I go, oh, yeah, yeah. What do you want to know about it? <laughs> I just ask him. <laughs> which I think he's knocking at the door right now. Yes. Oh, I forgot to put that I was live. <laughs> I forgot to put my sign out there. I'm live right now. <laughs> we were talking about you. <laughs> uh, anything new? <laughs> no. Well, consistent, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not predictable. <laughs> Boring. Never. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I just want to tell you, I got the dogs on. Okay. They run back and forth barking at Cat and Junior sitting in the end of the ramp. I got the fan on them. He's the tent. So okay. I'll leave him out there. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> I put the trash out uh, already. My trash. Right. The All studio right. trash. I'm take that out. All right. Anyway, so um, are we done, ladies, or not? <laughs> Mr. Rosemary. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's got all the dogs out there. I heard them. I heard them barking outside. <laughs> oh. Oh, good, Jennifer. He sounds quiet because I told him I was still on live. So he was he was being polite. <laughs> He's not quiet. <laughs> I should have said, Richard, talk like Joe Pesci. <laughs> He'll go, what? You want to make you laugh or what? <laughs> You think I'm funny? <laughs> yeah, he's one of the lurkers. That's right. <sighs> oh. We'll see. Kathleen, Richard, okay, Richard was, was born. This is, this is, this is a funny, this is funny. See, Richard was born in Harlem. He's probably like the only white boy that can say he was born in Harlem. <laughs> so he was down by Lexington. I don't even know. I don't know the boroughs down there. I, he's told me I don't remember. See, my memory is not, not good. Um, so he was down there by Lexington and... 70 something whatever the at section is and so he was he was there until he was like about I think he was like 13 or something like that and then they moved up to Rhode Island so he has that combination of um the Rhode Island, a little bit of the Rhode Island, but mostly the New York. It really comes out. When he starts getting excitable, <laughs> it's all New York, all 100%. Um, Junior, he's, you know that guy? He just, he's like the ever ready money. He just keeps going and going and going. We still have to pick him up. We have to get him up. And, um, you know, he doesn't get up at all by himself. He used to, you know, an emergency, he ugh, try and get up. He, he can't do that at all. His back legs, that's impossible. So we still get him up. And once he gets up, I, I call it the John Wayne walk. Have you ever seen John Wayne from the back? His legs kind of go in a little bit. He's a little pigeon-toed or cross -legged. I don't know what he is. It's very weird how he walks. He walks like like that, and he, and he looks like he's drunk. Anyway, um, that's how Junior walks. His back legs, <laughs> <laughs> like that. But he still makes it up. He gets out. We we help him, you know, um, to get out to where the lawn is. And once he's out in the lawn, no, he's not bow legged. He's like knock kneed. <laughs> John Wayne's legs went in. They, he wasn't bow legged. Watch him walk. It's, it's, good. it's very funny. But anyway, we get him out to where the lawn is and all the other dogs are out there. And so he goes out, he takes care of business and he goes for his little walk and I watch him. He looks like he's drunk. I'm just waiting for him to fall over because he doesn't have a lot of strength in his back legs, but he goes, he keeps going. And then, you know, every once in a while, he just gets way too tired. He'll just lay down in the grass. And then, you know, after an hour or so, he'll whine. He needs help getting up. So we go over there and we get him and we bring him in. So he's still having fun. He's functioning and um, you know, he's, he's still having fun and he eats. He has a, he has a very good appetite. Um, and, um, so the doctor says his vital signs are good. It's just that he's losing all of his muscle and he has arthritis. But, um, as far as his organs are concerned, he's fine. So we just keep him going. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he's and he's a big tattletale still you know something's going on he'll bark and try and straighten everything out and um he thinks he's the boss which i guess he kind of sort of is they still they still pay attention to him 
Um, the doctor said it's not. So um, it's just that he has arthritis and he's lost um, most of his muscles, um, the strength of his muscles, you know. It's a lot better, Jennifer. He um, he stopped going to physical therapy when all this, you know, lockdown happened because he's in the high risk um, category because of his liver. And so he because um, he had gone before. So he they said, well, just do the exercises that you did before. And he already had the, the, that stretch band and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's never going to be a hundred percent, but he still, he functions and it doesn't hurt that much. It, it, it's funny during the daytime when he's out and about, it doesn't hurt him. But as soon as he lays down, he must, you know, there must be a certain amount of, you know, some kind of force that's putting his arm in a certain position or something. I mean, he props it up with a pillow and everything and it still doesn't help, but it seems to bother him the most when he lays down. So Yeah, that's right, Jennifer. He did too. <laughs> oh, poor Kathleen. She's not even on live chat. You've been you've been right there where you should be. <laughs> Yeah, it can be. It's irritating, you know, when something stops you. You miss things. What did you miss, Kathleen? Nah, I don't think you missed anything. <laughs> you didn't miss nothing. It seemed like when you were talking, you were right right there with the with the crowd. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, ladies, it's 1030 here for me, almost. So now I've got to put all this stuff away that I brought out for you guys to see. Um, I think it was a good plan with Darla had about the number thing as far as the fabrics. So I think I probably will be doing that. If all goes well, I will be listing these on Saturday, if all goes well. If I don't fall behind, I have to take all these photographs and all this stuff. And, um, yeah. So if you're not in the group, please go over to the group because that way you'll get a heads up. Um, I let people know what's going on over there. And, um, you know what I mean? Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> you're quite welcome. I enjoy sharing my stuff. Uh, misses things. Oh yeah, I do, but I do, I do, I do. Yeah, and I still keep functioning even though I don't read half of the snow was half of what's going on. Okay then. So um I will um I'll post in the group right before I post on um, on my shop. And then, oh, Carla just put in the group. So if you guys aren't in the group, please join the group. It'll just give you a little bit of a little heads up. And, um, and plus you get a lot of inspiration. The ladies are doing really good. I mean, everybody is at a different pace, you know, as far as which month they're doing. So it's kind of cool. It isn't like all the same stuff, you know, every day. We've got from, <laughs> from different months. <laughs> Some people are on the second month still, which is fine. <sighs> all right. Thanks again, ladies. Talk to you guys soon. Good night.